everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I really don't have a top. Uh, yeah, what? Oh, nothing. I don't have a topic tonight, <laughs> but I did bring in a piece of paper, and you'll wonder why did she bring in a piece of paper? My husband was wondering why I brought in a piece of paper. Well, I was talking about yesterday the roast where you cut the ends off, to so it would fit in the pan. Well, how many of you grew up with parents that used to take the wrapper off? and then give it to you to draw pictures on, or they used to take notes on, or used to have recipes on. Because when I go through my mom's um, recipe box, you'll find, you'll find labels off of the can, and then you'll find a recipe on the back side of it. And um, so this is something that they used to do. And she used to save aluminum foil. She used to save baggies. I saved baggies. If they're not dirty, you know, the big, um, big gallon size ones, because I will, what I do is I put my food in a little sandwich bag type thing and then put those baggies in the gallon size one and then put them in the freezer. And then I'll use them again because they're not dirty. They just were holding the group of bags together. But this is something that they, they did. And she, I'm sure her mother might have done it too, but you know that they grew up in the, time of the depression so in anybody that's children of the depression people that grew up in the depressed depression era the era yeah, yeah they will be savers so so we can blame it on our parents everything's blamed on the parents anyway so we <laughs> might as well blame them so if you you gather things and don't want to throw something away it's because you grew up with a household where they saved everything because you might not have it for another day so you always you save. not be able to afford, afford to it. it. Yeah, you might not be able to afford it. And I remember when my mom and dad, they were living here, and um, my mom's mattress was, gosh, they were married almost, they were married 60 years, mm -hmm. and, and it was before the 60 years was up, that uh, maybe 55, 56 years, that mattress. I says, you know, you really need a new mattress. Well, I bought them a new mattress in Box Spring. And when they went to take the old one out, the guy goes, um, there's some money under there. So my parents still put money under the mattress. It was kind of crazy, but yes, that mattress went out the door. The money I stuck back under the mattress because that's where my mom kept it. So it wasn't a real lot, but it was enough to say she had money under the mattress. So they used to say that it was better to have the money in the house because of the banks closing and everything that they had that they had gone through they went through a lot of bad stuff but we never knew that we were we would have been considered very poor mm -hmm. because at the time my dad never even made twelve thousand dollars a year i remember my mother saying to me when i made twelve thousand she goes my goodness you make more than your father and he'd been working at his job for almost 20 years or had been 20 years. It probably had probably been 20 was, years. Because I think he was retired by then, yeah. Because he retired when he was 62. And the reason he retired at 62 was he saw a lot of guys die at 65. They would wait till full retirement, and they'd be maybe just retired a week, and they would die. So he decided that he would retire at 62. At least he'd have from 62 to 65 before he would maybe pass away. He ended up living to 93. So he really... And he went fishing a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. That's what he lived for. He lived to go hunting and fishing. In fact, he wanted me to get a hunting license. I didn't want a hunt hunting license. I got a fishing license, but I didn't want a hunting license. And I got my fishing license when I was probably, oh gosh, I must have been almost 20. And I said, you know, because when he would take me fishing at 16 and 17 and 18, I said, you know, don't, I said, Daddy, shouldn't I have a license? He goes, ah. They'll never believe you're as old as you are. So I never got a license till I was about 20. So You're that, just such a cute was, little girl. Yeah, I was, I was very young looking, extremely young looking. I remember when I asked for the car keys, I was at a wedding and I needed to move the car. And somebody said to him, you're not going to give her the car keys, are you? Because they thought I was too young to be driving. But I really wasn't. I was, I was in my 20s. So I was old enough to drive. Well, that's the video for today. I have nothing, <laughs> just a bunch of jibber-jabber. Yeah. And I hope you all had a great day. 
and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.